friends today we will discuss a short topic from the chapter advanced granulation technology the name of the topic is rapid release or effervescent granulation technology so before going toward the topic we will shortly define what is granulation so granulation it is a size enlargement process in which small particles are bring together to form a physically hard and a large size particle and these particles are called granules so why we need uh, granulation why we need to form granules so sometimes we need to increase the flow property of the powder so we can convert the powders into granules and uh, second one is to avoid the dust production in the production area we can convert powder and powders into granules uh, another one is uh, to avoid or to remove the uh, wet variation problem and content uniformity problem and to reduce the uh, demixing of the powder we can convert the powders into granules so uh, what is refer release are effervescent granules so these are the dry mixture of sodium bicarbonate citric acid and tartaric acid and uh, when these granules come in contact with water so due to the reaction of sodium bicarbonate with water the production of carbon dioxide gas occur and this carbon dioxide gas leads to the refit release or the refit disintegration of the granules so advantages of uh, this dosage pump is uh, to get the refit release because uh, these tablet uh, or these granules um, disintegrate too quickly due to the production of carbon dioxide so refit disintegration will lead to refit solubility of the drug and refit solubility solubility of the drug will lead to the refit absorption and refit absorption of the drug will lead to refit onset of action the disadvantages of the effervescent granules so the disadvantages of the effervescent granule is that these granules are um, hygroscopic in nature so we have to uh, uh, close uh, these granules in airtight uh, container hygroscopicity is a process in which uh, a solid particle or solid powder or solid material capture the moisture from the environment and convert into soft masses so methods for the preparation of effervescent granules we have two methods one is uh, dry or fusion method then uh, second one is uh, wet method as the name indicate dry here no need to add any external granulating agent and uh, dry or fusion method is done for those material which are uh, moisture sensitive so several step uh, in this process is first we have to reduce the size of the citric acid because citric acid is available in crystalline form we will convert the citric acid into powder pump then we will mix the medicament the tartaric acid the sodium bicarbonate the sugar and the uh, citric acid and we will mix uh, these powder after mixing uh, we will transfer this uh, mixture into a heating pan uh, the range of the temperature of the heating pan is from 93 degrees centigrade to 140 degrees centigrade we will stir the mixture um, in the heating pan so after some time we will get a soft mass uh, that soft mass will be fast to a suitable size of this tube so we will get the desired uh, size granules uh, then we will dry uh, these granules at 54 degrees centigrade and after drying we will place uh, these granules in air tight container so to avoid the hygroscopicity uh, the next one is uh, wet granulation method as the name indicate wet so here we need to add an external granulating agent uh, we commonly use isoprofile alcohol so First, we will uh, mix all the ingredients, all the powders like tartaric acid, citric acid, uh, sodium bicarbonate, the medicament, the sweetening agent like sugar. We will mix all the ingredients, then we will add the isoprofile alcohol as a granulating agent. So, uh, we will, after adding the isoprofile alcohol, we will get a soft mass, and that soft mass will be passed through a sieve number 8. So, we will get the desired granules, and these granules will be dry. Uh, in one at temperature 60 degrees centigrade after drying these granules will be again passed through a sieve to break the lumps sometimes sometime when we uh, dry the granules in one so some granules come closer to each other and they form lumps so to break those lumps we have to pass again uh, these granules from the sieve and after passing again from the sieve we will close uh, these granules in airtight container formulation what acidic material in acidic material we have citric acid tartaric acid ascorbic acid uh, and uh, and carbon dioxide source we have sodium bicarbonate uh, sodium carbonate potassium bicarbonate and calcium carbonate uh, and as a binder 
we can add lactose mannitol dextrose these are the binder for drug regulation uh, we can also add lubricant so in the lubricant we have calcium and potassium sorbates and uh, micronize propylene glycol with calcium ascorbate we can also add sweeteners sometimes we add sugar as a sweetener agent uh, we can also add uh, coloring agent and we can also add flavoring agent so, so advantages uh, no need to swallow tablet because we have a pervasive granule so we can dissolve in the water and we can take uh, dead solution uh, it provides rapid action and protection of the active pharmaceutical ingredient from the high acidic environment these are the advantages and the disadvantages is high dosage and uh, hygroscopic in nature so we need to close in the airtight container so this was all about a ferguson granules are rapid release granules